Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Stay. This is Coloring Bliss and today I have a super amazing box I get to unbox with you and enjoy. It is the full set of Holbein color pencils. I feel super spoiled that I got to purchase these. I'm not sponsored by Holbein or anyone else. I am sponsored by all of you, my viewers, and I want to thank you for making it possible that I could purchase this set of pencils and give you my full opinion on whether they are amazing or whether you can pass up on them. So what we're going to do today in this video is unbox this amazing set of pencils, look at them for the first time together, talk about their price, whether they're light fast or not, what they're made of, all of those good things. And then I'm going to swatch them three times. All 150 pencils, we're going to see them on black paper, white paper, tan paper, and we'll analyze the colors and talk about them together. Are there any surprises in this box? What do you think? Let's get to unboxing. All right, Rose and I can't wait any longer. We've got to unbox this set. We have a lot to do with these Holbein pencils. Lots planned for them and I need to get into them, swatch them, get them in a case so I can start organizing them. We are so excited, huh, Rose? <laughs> so this box here I got on sale um, from Dick Blick for about $400, a little bit more than that, but I was really pleased with that price. These are very expensive pencils and I feel very blessed to have them in my collection. I can't wait to see them. Let's take the plastic off and see what's inside this big, beautiful box. All right, we got lots of plastic here to take care of. Let me show you the box real quick. As soon as I get the plastic off, that would be better. So you can see it. I've only had small sets of Holbein, and they are very nice pencils. So, but because they're so expensive to get the full set, I've put it off, and now I have them. <laughs> Look at all these beautiful lines, the beautiful colors. And this is what the back looks like. So we have a swatch of every color with their name and number. They're oil-based color pencils with a medium hard lead, 3.8 millimeters in diameter, smooth and easy to draw, blend and overpaint with these colors. Now these are coming in from Japan. Holbein pencils are Japanese and they for a while you couldn't get them because they had I think it was lead in some of them. I'm not sure what was going on but they had to redo some of their pencils so that they could be sold in the United States. So that's a little history for you. Okay let's take the lid off. Oh, there they are. I'm so excited. Okay, so we have um, prepared test specimens for all color lines. As uh, hold on, what? Let me read this and tell you what it says. Just give me just a minute. Okay, I read the little notice here that's been put in, and it's basically saying that they have done the really expensive testing of getting these pencils to the ASTM D6901 standard. That's the standard that the Luminance pencils are using. It's an American standard. So then it goes in and talks about what they do to do this testing, and then the ratings down below. Holbein Lightfast ratings, According to the ASTM D6901, the, if it's a permanent color, it gets three stars. If it's a moderately durable color, it gets two. And if it's a fugitive, it only gets one. So this means that as it's exposed to light, after you've colored it, you hang it up on your fridge or whatever, um, as it's exposed to light, some colors are more prone to fading than other colors. That's what it's talking about here. And then it says that they're using forest protection certified wood. Holbein's really going the extra mile here, and I can see why they're so expensive. To do that kind of testing and to have everything lined up for that is quite an expensive thing to do. Well, here's the colors again. More about all of it. See, there you can see on the pencil where it'll have its indicator of whether it is um, highly permanent or more fugitive, as they said. And 
here is another chart oh this tells you if you were to buy like their um smaller set like they have a set that is just pastels they have 12 sets 24 sets this tells you what colors come in those boxes look at all the pastels i can't wait to see them okay uh, we looked at that already here is a swatch chart it's on decent paper it's not a very white paper but the texture is nice and it's pre-scored so you can fold it in half and have it handy inside your box but i'm going to be doing my own swatching and my own organizing we'll see if i like the way they've organized it but most likely from most brands what happens is i have to take all those pencils out and reorganize them according to the color wheel it's a huge process but i'm really looking forward to it okay here we go here's the first tray we've got some ribbon loops oh, the loops lift out each tray isn't that pretty and they smell like wood they actually smell like wood some of the Chinese pencils when you open them up they smell really um, chemically and plastic these smell like beautiful wood oh so pretty and look at that pretty ribbon that they've included so that you can lift your tray out that's so nice so they're using a, a pretty inexpensive um, plastic tray here but then they've supported it with this cardboard tray look at those colors so let's take a quick peek here at the actual pencils this one is amethyst op446 so let me show you well i had a weird camera shot going there sorry about that holbein works limited amethyst with a single star so this one would be considered a fugitive color one that would fade quite quickly so if you're a professional artist and you buy a set like this most likely what you'll do is go through and take out anything that is a fugitive color and just use the other ratings the um, two star and one star i mean three star so the more stars the better for this line of pencils okay that is a really pretty pencil. Pretty easy to read, too. The numbers are nice and big. That's a really beautiful pencil. Okay, let's look at the next tray. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, they have foam in between each layer. How nice. That's really nice. Again, we have the ribbons. Here's our whites. You get two whites with um, the Holbein set. And it looks like they have some sort of a warning cancer <laughs> these ones have a special sticker at the bottom that says warning cancer on it so I guess don't don't fiddle with these too much if you're worried about cancer <laughs> okay so we have the two whites soft white is one of the whites that we've done videos in the past where we've tested white pencils and everyone told me I needed to bring in the soft white for that test and it was an amazing pencil so I've got a, a second one of those now I'm really glad about that and both of these are um, three star their whites are both three star that's pretty cool okay let's check out the next tray look at all these nice earthy tones beautiful grays we've got a black here and then um, a lamp black so two different blacks we'll see what they are one's usually a warmish black and the other will be a nice cool black okay lift that tray out and take this off and ooh la la look at all of these beautiful pastel colors and then BAM a pop of fluorescent at the back that is really cool. <laughs> I, uh, it's hard for me to take them out of this case because I just like the look of them here in this case. Look at all these options. Sometimes um, in some sets, it's really hard to get a good light, medium, and dark of each of the colors for the color wheel. And this tray is giving me vibes that I'm going to be able to find some good lights. I'm um, just looking at their ratings. Um, two star, one star, three star, two star, it's all over the place. 
Um, so I'm not sure, with, you know, how many are actually three star. When you buy the Caran d'Ache Luminance, all of those are considered their three star. They're all high, high light fast pencils. So, oh, there's another one with a warning for cancer on it. The cream color here at the end has a warning sticker on it too. <laughs> I've never seen that before. It's kind of funny to me. Okay, so the next step is to take these beautiful pencils out of here and swatch them all and get them into a case where I can work with them. Let me show you the case that I purchased to do that very job. Before I get the case out, I wanted to show you that I found this little chart in their literature that has all the stars on there. So I'm gonna go through and count really quick how many of them are actual three star or their highest ASTM D6901 standard rating. <laughs> so give me just a minute and I'll count them. All right, I did a quick counting and um, hopefully I got the numbers right. There might be off by one or two pencils, but in general, they have 72 that are three star. 72 of these pencils are three star, 60 of them are two star, and only 18 of them were one star. And a group of those are these ones back here. I think they're the fluorescent ones, which don't have any stars at all, so I just gave them a one star for Fugitive. So that's pretty cool that um, 72 of the 150 have three stars, and then the majority of them are either two or three stars. I'm, I'm pretty impressed by that. Okay, now let me show you the case that I purchased to put them in. This is a case by um, U-Shares. I found it on Amazon, and it will actually hold 300 pencils. There's only 150, only 150 pencils in the Holbein line, but I also have some duplicates because I have a couple um, 12 sets. It's the um, So I wanted a case that can hold all 150 of this set plus my duplicates and still give me room to organize and reorganize. This case cost me $37 on Amazon. That's here in um, the United States. And they had lots of different colored um, outer shells that you could pick from. Some were a little bit more money, but uh, most of them were in that same price range. It has a nice zipper back here where I can put my swatch charts once I get them all made. And then zipper here. And there. the reason I picked this case specifically was because it held 300 pencils and it has slots that are in threes. So as you know from previous videos, I love organizing my pencils in sets of three. So that will be perfect for me. Look at that. It's a little bit finicky, but maybe the more I use it, the more it will loosen up and work really well for me, I hope. I'm just going to assume it's amazing and it's going to work great. <laughs> Okay, so what we need to do is start removing all of the pencils and do the very first primary swatch. Now I'm going to be swatching them three times. <laughs> and this is just the very first swatching. These will be swatched many, many times by the time we get um, all of them organized into the Coloring Bliss order. But you gotta start somewhere. You gotta swatch it at some point. And I want to see how the Holbein pencils look on both white, tan, and black paper, because those are the three colored papers that I use the most. And if you go over to Coloring Bliss, you can order any of those, plus many more. You can get watercolor. There's different types of swatch books, so many different swatch books. So I have all three of them here and ready. And this is going to be quite an adventure to get them all swatched. I'll film as much of it as I can. Let us start the swatching footage.
All right, we're now working on the second of three trays for the swatching. On this tray, we have the whites, the grays, and I discovered six metallic pencils. Can't wait to see those on the black paper. Time to swatch tray three. It's the final tray in this set of color pencils and I'm excited about this tray because it's almost all pastels with just six little fluorescents at the end. Let's see how these look on all three papers. Okay, that took about two hours to swatch all 150 on three different papers. Time well spent. This is uh, where I start to learn about the color story that they have in their case. Helps me wrap my head around whether we will be able to make light, mediums, and darks of every color on the color wheel. It also highlights special things about these sets. Like for instance, there are six fluorescents and there are was it six metallics. Yep, six metallics. So um, you learn a lot about a set when you swatch them. You also get to feel how consistent the pencils are from start to finish. Do they all feel the same? Do some of them feel creamier? Some of them feel scratchy? Do some of them seem off-centered? All of those things you find out as you do a big swatching like this. Is it necessary to swatch three times? Not really, but for me and for the purposes of this channel, it's very necessary. So now that they're swatched, I can tell you I'm falling in love with these pencils. They have such a silky, beautiful feel as they go down. When you do the heavy pressure to get that nice deep color, it really pays off. You can really get a lot of color and then you really have to pull back and do a light pressure in order to get the lightest color. It's really fun. These are beautiful pencils. The only one that feels different out of all 150 is that soft white that we've already talked about. It's a very almost sticky, very almost wet's the wrong word, like like a cream type feeling when you color with it. It's a really neat color. I'll show it to you here. Let's start by looking at the white swatches. And let me switch over to the first page. Here we are. Okay, in fact, I'll get all three here onto the first page so we can do a little side by side as well. So these are oil based, based um, compared to like a Prismacolor, they feel closer to a Polychromos. Polychromos is also oily based and it has a more slick, silky feel, where a Prismacolor pencil has a more creamy feel. But the cool thing about these pencils, at least my impression so far, is they sort of um, color down like a, a Prismacolor. So they feel like a Polychromos, but color like a Prismacolor. And I won't know for sure until I do some more actual coloring, not just swatching. I want to see how they blend and all of that. But this video is about the swatching and my first impressions. So let me get my face off of here and we can look at the, the white. This is tray one. I decided to do it in sets of three because we have three trays that seem to tell a color story. So we've got everything from, if you follow the color wheel, it kind of, does that. So this this tray is dedicated to the color wheel, all the way from yellow into yellow oranges, oranges, reds, violets, blues, blue greens, and greens, and then into yellow greens. That's how this tray fits, um, sets up. Now if you look at them on black, you can see how it's more of a 
oil-based pencil because of the translucency of some of these pencils. And that's normal and um, it actually can work to your benefit when you have a colored page. If it's a little bit of a translucent color, then the color of the paper behind comes up and shows through. Look how beautiful they look here on the tan paper. So pretty. Love that. Let's go to page two because this is where the story changes. Instead of just following the color wheel, now we've got some tones and some different um, pencils going on. The grays, for instance, and our two whites. So let me get all three pages set for that. So here we have um, our earthy tones. Tones typically will have a little bit of gray mixed in, um, and then it'll be a combination of colors. So you get your browns and your neutral type colors. That's what this tray is all about. And then we get our warm grays and our cool grays Our two blacks. And I was right, one is a really good deep black and the other is more of a cooler bluish black. Here are two whites, can't see them really well on the white paper. We'll look at them elsewhere here in a minute. But down here are our six metallics. So let me move those in the light and you can see how they catch the light with their metallic um, payoff. And I would say these first three are the most shiny and the last three are least shiny here on white. So let's look at our brown tan paper here. You can start to see the two different whites here. This is their standard white. This is that soft um, kind of mushy white and it really does pay off a darker white as you can see. And here are our metallics. Let me bring it up to camera so you can see them shine and see the differences in the whites and the two blacks right here. Beautiful colors. They look, these types of colors look especially good on tan paper. Um, these like more earthy tones. It just has that, oh, I want to color something in an autumn color scheme. That's what this page makes me feel. So pretty. Really nice shine on these two silvers. Okay, let's look at the same colors now on our black paper. Here you can see the two whites, how this soft white is really opaque and lays down nice and heavy. And the two blacks you can see right here, um, hopefully you can see that the 510 is even blacker than my black paper and the 511 pretty much matches the black paper. Thought that was interesting. And the metallics don't pay off as well on black paper. I was surprised by that. The color is pretty, but the shine kind of gets lost with the black paper. Very interesting. Let's go to page three now, or tray three. This is the pastel tray. And um, Holbein has been well known for their pastels for a long time, and they do not disappoint with this set here. So we have all of these pastels and then six fluorescents at the bottom. Crazy how much they just sing out compared to the pastels. So a pastel pencil is typically a color plus white, so it's a tint. Tints and pastels are pretty much interchangeable when it comes to color pencils. So they are a beautiful set of colors. These are a little bit stronger. These are even more muted, more white mixed in really pretty. Let's look at them on the tan paper. They didn't pay off as well as I thought they would here on the tan. In fact, several of them look so similar to the color of the tan that um, I think it would get lost, but that's why we swatch, right? If I was going to be doing one of my chibi coloring pages on tan paper with this set of pencils, I would know not to use some of these colors thanks to this swatching because they would just get lost and it wouldn't be worth the work. But the fluorescents are just shining beautifully also here. They're really a fun set of fluorescents. Fluorescents can be used in a lot of interesting ways. You can use them um, as a, a partner to some of the other colors like a fluorescent green along with your um, greens to help your leaves just really shine. They're really fun to work with. You don't just have to do like a 80s type theme. You can work them in with your other colors. 
Let's look at the pastels on the black paper. So pretty. They all just look beautiful. Sometimes they look a little too much alike here on the black, but that's normal when you have this type of um, a pencil on black. When it shines, the black comes up through. It can You can lose some of the pigment sometimes. But the fluorescents are stunning on the black. If I was coloring um, one of my coloring pages of mandala or something, it would be fun to just really um, showcase the fluorescents that are here. Okay, so that is the unboxing and swatching of the 150 full set of Holbein's. I feel so spoiled. I need to get them into their case, but I think I'm going to stop now. I've been going for a couple hours on all this swatching and I'm going to take a break. So in a future video, I will talk to you about how that case is working. And we're going to be working these beautiful pencils into the Coloring Bliss ecosystem. So you can look forward to a book that will support the Holbein pencils and some swatching pages all filled out by Steve with all the names and the numbers so that all you have to do is sit down and color them in for yourself. So much to come. Make sure you have subscribed and you hit that like button so that um, you won't miss when we release future um, resources to help support the Holbein pencils. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for all your support so that I can purchase products like this with my own money. I think that's really important so that you know that I spent my own money and I wasn't sent anything for free and I, I'm not feeling obligated to say, wow, these are amazing or anything like that. I can say whatever I want about these pencils because I purchased them with that, my own money. But that is because of you and your support. So thank you so much for that. So for me and Rose, thanks for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful, colorful, blissful day. Bye-bye.